All right. So, apparently, SM64 EX Co-op has been discontinued. So, my previous tutorial has been uh, basically completely nullified. So, I'm going to make a, another tutorial on how to install this. So, first you want to go to the first link in the description. Now, so really all you want to do is figure out which one you need. So I have Windows and let's see, um, should you use DirectX or OpenGL? OpenGL has more features and is better tested. It is recommended you use OpenGL and only DirectX if OpenGL doesn't work for you. So I'm going to download the OpenGL version. All right, so now I'm just gonna open this and I'm going to extract it. Uh, let's see, yep, just okay. All right, so it's right here. Everything is already here. So there's like, there's no setup file like EX Co-op. So all you need to do is launch this EXE file. And basically the setup is right here. No ROM detected. So you have to go and find your SM64 ROM file, which I have right... Uh... What is it? Right here. So I'm going to drag and drop into the screen and it's going to basically just load everything. There's no need to compile at all. As you can see right here. And on startup, if you have Discord open, it will ask to link with your Discord account. And you should click yes so that you could easily log in to like uh, different servers and stuff. So I'm just gonna hit authorized. And yeah, that's literally it. You don't have to compile it anymore. So cool, I'm gonna choose this. Um, Co-op net, I can host, you know. And then here you go, I've hosted it. And then in order to join, you know, it's all the, the normal stuff. If I wanna join, I'll press join, public lobbies, rules. <laughs> And yeah, so just agree to those rules. And wow, look, I can see all of these. So let me just find mine right here. Click on join. And look, I just joined myself. Would you look at that? Yeah, it's extremely simple now. You don't really have to do anything. It's, it's really just like, dude, I, I've only been recording for four minutes and I'm already in game. Um, if you go to the SM64 Co-op Deluxe Wiki, so SM64 Co-op Deluxe, or DX.com, that'll be the second link in the description. But you could go to the mod site here, if you go to mods, which is right here, you can see a whole bunch of different mods. You know what? Fazbear64. I'm going to download that. It is done, and it's not corrupt. Very good. So now I just grab this folder, drag it, and boom, it's there. If it's a Lua file, then it would just be you drag and drop the Lua file into here. But if it comes with a folder, just drop that entire folder in. There's also more like modifiers and stuff. So I'm gonna get one that's not a character select. Let's do gun mod. I'm gonna download this. And uh, just like normal, you just drag the folder in. If you go over to ROM hacks right here, there's a lot of them here. Let's do SM64 Sapphire. Let me download that. It's literally the same exact process. You go to mods and you get Sapphire, drag and drop that into here. There's even DYNOS hacks, but nothing really it, like, not that many of them are on here, which is why the third link in the description is the Co-op uh, co Central. Um, it used to be the EX Co-op server, but I guess now it's also the Co-op DX as well. You just go to Co-op Mod Releases, you can find a whole bunch of stuff. So there's not really that many more um, DYNOS packs being made. It's mostly a, a, the character select, um, which personally is 
I would say better but also worse because it is only for your player. The easiest way to find them is all you gotta do is go over to the search bar, go in co-op mod releases right here and then search for D-Y-N-O-S and you could probably find some. Ooh, gonna get that Mexican Womp pack. Continue to download. All right, so this one has a different directory. It is the D-Y-N-O-S packs. And now this file, not what's inside this folder, drag it into there, boom, easy. And now I'm going to check and see if it works. I open up Co-op Deluxe. Now, if I go to host, now, see how it says host, I can change my file, I can go to mods. All right, so you could enable all your mods here. And so I'm gonna enable gun mod, and you see these custom characters. I'm gonna enable all of them, even the one that I have right here. But if you if you want to do this, you have to enable character select. You have to. And so I'm going to go back. And if I want a ROM hack, there's Sapphire. I just had that. Now I just I'm gonna host, and bam. I can reload. You know all that stuff. Now, if I want to do the characters, I would have to go to the chat, characters, select, and there it is right here. I can change it. I'm going to get rid of it for now. And I'm going to replace it with, sure, day, night cycle, why not? All right, so you can see me. How's it going? It's me. So now if I turn on the character select i can select you know all of these that i want which there is quite a lot of them freddy fazbear with golden freddy whoever sometimes they might or like you could press y to toggle their palette so like i could have my own personal palette on these characters if i wanted to pretty cool so uh yeah that's that's basically it oh that's a thing did you look at that? You go over to him, look, he's not changed. He's the same. It's kind of difficult to see, but all I gotta do, DYNOS packs, and I could... Mexican Womp. Look at that, baby. He is so Mexican. Yep, thank you. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped you out. Um, if you liked the video and you want to help, then, um, if you want to help me out, then go like the video, subscribe, you know, all that stuff. Share, comment. Watch some of my other videos, too. I don't do mainly SM64 content. Although I like doing SM64 contents as well, sometimes I do other content like Roblox or like just other stuff. So go check that out. I'm almost at 500 subs, so if you could just help a boy out and let me let me get a 500, please. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. So uh, bye. Let me know if you got any questions in the comments and I'll try my best to help you out.